Okay, for the first, no, for the first, uh, for the first time, today we're gonna use Houdini Karma 20 to do this. Don't play with my heart, just let me go, please let me go. You like to love so hard and then you throw it away. You like All that, of course. Coming up. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my lovely white home. I don't know, but I dig it. Okay, <laughs> today we're gonna talk about more karma technical stuff as I promised in previous video like AOV, custom AOV of course from custom attribute in Karma that will be interesting of course material X and etc and of course if you want more detail you can check the full version of this video which is I released today in my Patreon in that video I, I talk about more fundamental stuff my technique to achieve this kind of photorealism in VFX, especially in face VFX. If you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And if you have any question or suggestion, as always, leave me in comment section. Okay, let's carry on. okay let's begin with this as you can see we have this model i use uh, the extraction transformation method because my face does not have any deformation so with that we have these light blockers i want to mimic these stairs and yeah i import that of course uh, with sub import as you can see this is the result and i want to tweak the display setting here we're gonna use the render geometry setting and as you can see we have this primary visibility here as you can see with this drop down we can use all this awesome uh, option here and yeah this is how uh, I use the blocker for the light and in the other hand of course we have an area light in the right side let me quickly set up that and yeah that's the area light and of course for the bouncing light to be uh, more accurate of course it depends on the material the one way you we assign material in karma using material linker as you can see like that and yeah the material is so important in uh, blocking or bouncing the light now let's create material x using this material library this is a, another way to assign or create material here as you can see okay we'll drag that and let's dive in and let's uh, type karma material builder this is an awesome way to create uh, material x in houdini 20 we don't need this input and as you can see it's like arnold uh, shaders standard shaders we have base color and specular, of course, uh, subsurface scattering, coat, or etc. And yeah, this is the basic shader. In order to import our image, of course, we're gonna use MTLX image node, and of course, we're gonna connect that to the base color. Of course, for the UV, we need text coordinate and connect that to that. Nothing happened because our geometry does not have any uh, UV. Let's prove that to you guys. Let's create UV unwrap or UV project or texture. We have uh, several of these nodes, you see. Now we have our texture here and as you can see uv is the problem now instead of that i want to use you a uv texture let me show you here and of course we're going to use this uh, mode from a camera perspective because uh, our camera it's on 
uh, stage we don't have any access to it so for that we're going to use another approach to import our camera from alembic using alembic archive this is an awesome way let's select our camera from hierarchy and enable this and build our hierarchy here and as you can see let's dive in dive in again and you see we have our camera in object level that's so important okay that's for uv and yeah you get the idea now we can access that in here you see that and we we are uh, project, uh, projecting this uv of course in a stage instead of uh, the previous method to the camera we're going to use a scene import camera this is a scene import in general uh, with filtering the camera here and you see and let's import you see let's flatten the hierarchy and let's select our camera you see and we have our camera and in other hand we have this uh, reflection or, or specular let's grid up that okay now i want to create attribute custom attribute and import that in material x so for that let's go to the object level and let's uh, create attribute pen this is one way to create a attribute custom attribute we're gonna uh, paint cd or color attribute here and yeah let's paint that quickly okay let's suppose we have this attribute and now let's uh, blur that to have this awesome fading uh, with the attribute let's select that in here and you see we have a decent fading or feathering and of course how we can import that in stage or solaris let's uh, demonstrate that with attribute create let's suppose we have a simple attribute call dzn in point uh, class you see and let's go to the stage let's select our geometry the face and in here in the details of course we have something called dzn prim uh, dzn and make sure of that uh, we have that in uh, scene graph so what's a cd call it's of course called display color i don't know if this is weird but it's called display color and let's import that by prim var reader i guess yeah and usd print variator yeah and let's copy that copy path and paste it here and uh, remove the unnecessary text and yeah this is our uh, way to import uh, the attribute of course let's set that to the color because color is a uh, vector four or uh, the color vari variable now of course we can use that for mixing using material x mix node here and you see we, we can uh, drive that a mix parameter you see this is a float of course and our attribute is vector 4 and we're gonna uh, convert that or separate this channel using channel separate here where are you okay and let's connect that and we're gonna use the y component you see that's uh, why uh, components have uh, our uh, data and we're going to use that as a mix okay as you can see we need to invert uh, that using material x invert and voila we have our area we need here and aov as you can see you can find aov in this drop down this is the default aov and of course this is driven by this tab in render setting you can have many many aov you wish you see and of course in my uh, personal preference i don't uh, uh, use this many aov but rather than that i always create this custom aov with this extra var and let's uh, select one here and we have this awesome drop down here and of course let's uh, pick a name age for example and this is a float and yeah 
and let's select that and of course this is an edge again but it's blank as you can see okay how we can fill that uh, we're gonna use the material x uh, node call dot of course in here with this secret expression aov and the name of your uh, aov of course you see that now we have something and make sure uh, this node is on the stream of course we have this karma iov but i will go with this dot node in material x of course for crypto mat you can use crypto mat node and voila we have our crypto mat pass i have this method called 3d compositing which i compose or combine uh, this footage with the actual scene in 3d package rather than 2d package like nuke or fusion and as you can see i uh, do all thing in houdini or 3d package uh, including uh, matching the light matching uh, the material the color all in that with this separate channel i talk about this method and other awesome method in my patreon version of this video make sure to check that it would awesome now with that let's have a render test using this usd render rope and let's render that to disk let's jump into new york let's uh, import that with r key and with this e exr data and as you can see we have this c as a beauty and this is the edge and of course the rgba is blank let's uh, correct that with the shuffle you see and of course the alpha we uh, let's go with the edge and this is the awesome way to get that correctly and let's merge that and let's see the problem we have something missing you see that and uh, that's because the mobile device have a separate alpha we're gonna add that to the alpha channel using crypto mat you see if you remember we export the crypto mat in here you see let's select that and this for example and yeah we have our mobile device let's merge that with the uh, existing alpha you see and now we have that of course let's change that to the alpha because we are merging just the alpha not rgba and yeah and we have that now let's promote that and with that let's merge it and voila we have something here of course we're gonna modify uh, the custom attribute we paint uh, to cover the uh, face or the uh, eyes here and let's have uh, for example decent uh, material to the mobile device you see that and for the subsurface scattering of course uh, you can tweak that in material x make sure uh, do not exaggerate that because it will go crazy as you can see you see i'm always connect this uh, color for the subsurface color and yeah i will do that uh, little bit not too much for example the scale and yeah with that i added some displacement map and more more detail in my patreon version of this video of course uh, the project file it's available on my patreon too and yeah with that have fun goodbye